Hey Capricorn, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. Uh, it can resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If one of these doesn't resonate, please feel free to check out one of your other signs. Uh, those of you that are cross watching, welcome. Um, this can be your situation or your partner's. It just depends on who's watching. And with that being said, Capricorn, let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, what's the energy for Capricorn with love and romance? What's the energy? Yes, come through Capricorn, Ten of Pentacles, you're like, that's right. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo or somebody that has a Mercury in Virgo. What is Capricorn's person of interest or partner's energy? Queen of Pentacles, yes, there you are Capricorn, sitting pretty, holding on to all your money. I love it. All right. What is uh, Capricorn's feelings towards this their person of interest romantically? What are Capricorn, how do they feel about their person of interest? Ooh, the lovers. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini or another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You may be dealing with a couple of people, possibly even a Leo. Or a Sag. Sorry, I typed that. I tapped on that for a reason. All right, what is uh their what is the current situation between Capricorn and their person of interest romantically? What is their current situation looking like? Knight of Cups, okay. Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio, Cancer. I think I said that. Maybe I didn't. And okay, let me get the outcome. What is the outcome for Capricorn with love and romance? You know, engagement, beautiful. Okay, so I really do like these cards. I think that they're fantastic. And I feel like for you guys, it, it's probably been a time where you had to be very optimistic when it came to love. And I think for you, it's really getting to know this person um, or somebody getting to know you in order for them to really fully like express how they feel. Can you give me one more card here? One more card here for the outcome for Capricorn. One more card here. Capricorn. Okay, it's interesting. The Nine of Swords. There's uh, Mars and Gemini. Engagement with the Nine of Swords. Somebody is definitely thinking about how to move forward. Okay. Up until this situation, I feel like for those of you that are single, you've gone back and forth on exactly who you want to invest in, who you want to put time into. Um, those of you that are already taken, I feel like you're very hopeful about where this is going with you and them. And this definitely could be somebody at work. But it's really about obtaining your, like, you're very optimistic about obtaining what you want, okay? All right, I'm going to say this. Cancer had amazing cards, and then the outcome was kind of nar nar, gnarly, as I should say. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. Ten of Pentacles is here. Um, I mean, I feel like everybody knows what the Ten of Pentacles is, usually. Um, this is being very detailed with what you want pertaining to love, okay? Um, it's also having everything in order, I feel like. Like, I feel like you guys are finally getting in a good cycle or a good, like, um, rhythm here where things are not out of control. I feel like you really had to think about this. There may have been something like a big event that shocked you, um, that may have been a little bit difficult, that put you in a position where you had to really question, what do you want? What do you want from this person? What do you want out of life? Um, and I feel like you did the right thing, whatever that may be. Any more information on the energy? the Ten of Pentacles. It's also about family. 
Okay, King of Wands. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. Okay, Aries or Sag. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, there is Virgo too. Here's what I'm gathering with these cards for your energy. You're working on something, obviously, right? There's something that you're very focused on working on. For you, Capricorn, um, I feel like the energy for this month is knowing exactly what you want and going after it. It may even have something to do with work, working on money, working on finances, working on kind of putting everything together as one. It's really about picking up where you left off and having, you know, a level of forward movement. But you're very focused on what you have to do in order to obtain this Ten of Pentacles. Very, very focused or somebody is focused. What what message do you want me to give Capricorn? What what what's the last message you want me to give Capricorn for the energy for love and romance? The chariot. There's cancer, forward movement. I feel like what they're trying to say is that you're going in the right direction. You need to stay the course, okay? It's also about a level of comfort emotionally for you. It's putting you in the driver's seat and you moving the way that you want to move. And right now you may be stuck because of whatever's going on with like the coronavirus and all the madness right now. But in the meantime, it's like you're working on yourself, getting yourself better so that you have this 10 of pentacles that you can accept or you can offer somebody. And I feel like, um, you know, there may be a level of distance. Um, also maybe, maybe travel. Like there's something here also about, I don't know why. And I know that the chariot doesn't usually mean this, but I feel like for you, it's, this month is really about you taking time to yourself and regaining control of everything. It's like you had to have everything quiet for this energy in order for you to really be able to have a level of forward movement. It's like you finally know what you want now, and now it's like really working on it. Okay. Your partner's energy is coming up as a queen of pentacles. So for those of you women that are watching, you're like, what the hell? Those of you men, you're like, yes, there's my queen. Um, the queen of pentacles can be masculine or feminine. Sometimes, you know, men tend to have more feminine energy than they do masculine or more feminine um, aspects in their chart. For instance, my son is a Capricorn, but he has like three or seven feminine, three masculine. His chart's all Capricorn. So that's the reason that he would come up as more of a feminine energy. And that's not a negative thing. It's just what it is. Um, I feel like this person, your person has an energy of being very refined, definitely cautious, um, very caring and loving and nurturing, very thoughtful. But this person is very passive. Like they're not going to be the one to hop up and extend that offer. That's what I'm, that's what I feel. I also feel though too, it's, this person is very passionate, but it's like low key. Like, I don't know Capricorn, if you necessarily know what your partner or what this person like exactly a lot about them, or you don't, you don't know exactly where their mind is. Can you give me more information on Capricorn's person of interest romantically? That just shot out. Knight of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. It's like there's a solid offer. They may have an offer for you. More information here for their person of interest romantically. Capricorn. Strength with the Ace of Swords. Okay. For some of you guys that are still single and you have your eye on somebody, this like this person is waiting to express how they feel. This is somebody that's not showing their cards. This is somebody that's moving slowly. 
they're not necessarily going at a quicker pace. They may even approach you like in a work setting or something, some type of extent like that. But it's really making an offer and I feel like that offer is, is, is a level of communication or what's being communicated here is like this person, their energy is very like strong. It's very noble. They're very confident with where they are, what they have to offer. This is somebody who thinks about everything, usually can't get out of their head. Very intellectual. Yeah, very, very, very intellectual. One more card that you want me to, or let me ask this. How, how would Capricorn feel about this person? Or how, how do they feel about this person's energy? How does Capricorn feel about this person's energy? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so they're Sag. Something's changed with this person. What's changed about this person? The Four of Pentacles. Hold on. Let me, let me ask a different question. Um... Where is the wheel going towards? What's what's the positive aspect of what's changed? The Empress. Maybe in this time where everything's happening, this person is working on themselves. This person um, is definitely, this is Libra or Taurus. They may be fixing their energy. Okay, or how they look. There's some type of transformation coming with the Empress. But also, too, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, this is somebody that's highly confident. They know what they want. And they don't have a problem being strong enough to get what they want. So if there is some type of offer that's being made here to uh, this person or this person is making an offer, they're being very strong about it. And it's a very solid offer. Like this person is very much in the zone right now with a level, like, like with really getting in like security, right? That's key. Family, like this person is very family oriented. Somebody may be pregnant. They don't like when things are a mess. And I feel like maybe your perception of them is changing. How you feel about them as a lover so definitely can be dealing with a gemini um why does capricorn feel this way why does capricorn view this person as a lover? hermit okay hold on with the six of wands For some of you guys, I feel like it's finding out that this person is single. If you've had your eye on somebody, I, I definitely feel like you've been watching them on social media, via email, texting, typing. Like there's something definitely here where you found out some type of information with this hermit in pertain, like that has to do with this person being single. Okay. That's what, I, that's what I feel. Let me see. Am I right? Am I right here? And it can be completely single. Yeah. Look, Page of Swords. Page of Swords is the legit, I don't want to say creep because I don't want to say that, but they're like the legit stalker, right? It's like that one friend you go to, uh, in my opinion, where you're like, fuck, I can't find anything on this person. Can you help me? I need their birthday so I can look at their chart and decide if it's fucked up and I'm not going to talk to them, right? It's like you found out something about this person, something was said to you or you visually saw it that I feel like changed your whole perception on this person and on the situation. It gives you, I feel like, um, a level of hope. Yeah, what did Capricorn find? The Three of Cups. The Three of Cups to me is just a card where somebody's doing them. It's like, it's also too, um, you may feel very strongly about this person too because they're communicating with you in a way that's much more loving or much more caring where it's different. 
maybe prior to this because you know your partner's energy is very pinnacle right there's not a lot of emotions and i feel like how they're communicating with you what they're saying i feel like this is all much much different than it was prior like things are much more personal i feel like for you guys yeah very very like like more personal like hey we should go hang out or hey you know um let's go have a good time that's what you saw the fact that this person is just doing them am i right one more card am i right here with this person being single and just doing what they need to do the magician what's the energy of the magician justice with the fool yeah I feel like this person is somebody that's very balanced how you feel about them Whatever you've seen or whatever thoughts that you've had prior, like this person is finally like taking chances, right? But they're also very fair with how they move. They're, and, and I keep saying very balanced because take a look, you have the sun and you have the moon here, okay? It's like balance. They'll, they'll, they'll show you something, but then there's a lot that you don't know, right? I feel like that's what's going on here. For the current situation, you have the Knight of Cups. Obviously, there's some type of look, you know, Page of Cups. Somebody's offering a level of love. There's some type of message here that makes you feel warm and cuddly inside. Capricorn's like, I never feel warm and cuddly. Well, this person is striking a chord with you, or you're striking a chord with them. Surprises. For some of you, I wouldn't be surprised if you received flowers this week. Or like a bottle of wine. More information on the current situation. Because right now, for some of you, you can't, you don't have access to this person. Give me more information here on the on the situation with Capricorn and the person of interest. I think you still go back and forth though. Yeah. Okay, look, right as I said that, the Eight of Swords pops out. Somebody may not know what to offer, what to say, what to do. That definitely can be it, for sure. Somebody may not know how to start that conversation. Because what's, why is the Eight of Swords here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Because of the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you guys, I feel like you may have more than one person, yourself, or your partner may have more than one person. So that can be a scenario where they're in their head about, you know, a mother figure. This is a lot of cup energy. Let me ask one more time. Why is, why is the Eight of Swords here? What's... What's causing this Eight of Swords? The High Priestess, the Unknown. Somebody's waiting, I feel like, to make something, some type of offer, but they just don't know how to, or they're worried about something that they're not seeing, like they don't want to look stupid. This is definitely Taurus or Cancer energy. What, what are, what's being hidden? Or what are they worried? What's being hidden? The Star. How would Capricorn feel about this? The Queen of Cups with the Two of Pentacles. I think for you, it's going back and forth on an idea.
Because I feel like your partner would say, okay, fuck it, let's, let's do this. But I feel like there's some type of apprehension from you, right? That's why the two of pentacles is here. The star with the high priestess, like, what do you, like, what do you not know? Like, there's something here that I feel like you're worried about not knowing, not knowing the ins and outs, you know, you don't want to be thrown off guard, so you're going back and forth here on whether to start this, start this up again, try again, whatever. But that's definitely the situation. The situation is there is an offer coming in. It may be two separate offers this month. One that's more of a, you know, more emotional offer where the other one is very innocent. Okay. But I feel like that confuses you. Okay. For your outcome, you have engagement, but then you also have the nine of swords. So do you see this energy? It's like, I really like you but I don't, I don't know how this can work, right? It's something in that sense. Um, with that being said, Capricorn, I love you guys. Stay safe. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.